Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Will the Treasury inform the House how the Morrison government is working in partnership with state governments to provide further economic support for businesses and individuals impacted by the most recent COVID lockdown? Members on my left. Member for the Treasurer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I thank the member for Reid for her question and acknowledge her experience uh, as a psychologist in small business before coming to this place. And I had the opportunity uh, to visit uh, the member for Reid's electorate prior to this most recent lockdown. We visited a business called Papa's Patisserie, and they had used JobKeeper to keep their staff in work, Mr. Speaker, and now they are using the payments and the support that the Morrison government has combined with the Berejiklian government to provide uh, businesses across New South Wales. Now, Mr Speaker, our economic support, including our COVID disaster payments, have been made available to people across New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland and South Australia in recent weeks. And as we heard uh, from the minister, over a billion dollars has already been processed in claims across those states. If somebody has lost 20 hours or more of work, they are entitled to $750 a week if they're in those hotspot areas. If they've lost between eight and 19 hours of work, they are entitled to $450. And if someone is receiving income support and has lost eight or more hours of work, they're entitled to $200, Mr Speaker. Now, this income support that we are providing to households and to families is on top of the business support that we're providing, including in the state of New South Wales, where we reached a 50-50 agreement. And if a business has a turnover between $75,000 and $250 million, and their turnover has fallen by 30 per cent or more as a result of the lockdowns, then those businesses can be entitled to between $1,500 and $100,000 a week, Mr Speaker. And that is significant business support that helps them get through this crisis. And again, it's a 50-50 split that we, have done, that we have reached with the New South Wales government. Now, our economic support, our economic support and our health support totals more than $300 billion and has helped cushion the blow of this once-in-a-century pandemic and it has helped see the Australian economy be bigger today than when we went into the pandemic, Mr Speaker. And on the last jobs data, we saw 160,000 more Australians in work than prior to this pandemic. And our economic recovery had been stronger and faster than any other advanced economy. So these may be inconvenient truths for those opposite, but the reality is, the reality is that our economy is resilient, it will continue to grow and it will rebound after we get through this recent crisis.